Okay, so hi, my name's James, and this is Evan Roth, and um, we're the founders of the Graffiti Research Lab. Okay, so this is our sort of tagline that we're dedicated to the outfitting of graffiti writers, artists, activists, and pranksters with open source tools for urban communication. Our first sort of debut was here at Gadget Off two years ago, I think. Um, and we showed this thing we were doing called the Electrograph, which is basically sort of an arts and crafts project for criminals. So Evan and I started working together at this place called iBeam, and I was really inspired by his work and doing sort of projection graffiti, and so we did more of that. And we came up with this thing, well, we came up with it. I mean, we, we just kind of like taped together a magnet and an LED and a battery, and we put it up online, us using it with Lamore and some others. And, and this has kind of become a, sort of a trademark work of ours. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, is there anyone from the Homeland Security Department still in the room? Anybody at all? Because I was gonna, we were gonna give them a, a, an applause for this because they can make flashlights that'll make you like throw up, but they can't tell that this is a toy. So yeah, so I think, I think here today we're going to be demoing outside as you guys uh, go to your boat um, this uh, laser tag project, which is sort of a pretty simple combination of sort of sensing and uh, graphic output. Um, our, our latest addition is we put it on a bicycle and we outfit it with some music and other things. This is us hitting the Brooklyn Bridge. You can totally do this. This is legal. Um, so anyone can use our bike except for all these people and hundreds and hundreds of other corporations. Um, but these guys can use our bike, and any of you guys who have an interesting sort of cause, please get in touch with us, because this bike is free to use. Um, and we've taken it kind of all over the world and uh, let people write their uh, sort of stream of consciousness on buildings. And of course, a part of everyone project is this open source aspect. Everything we do is public domain, so it's completely free. That's why throwies have spawned businesses, and laser tag is now used by Lucky Strike to uh, sell their product. We don't have any control over that, but that's the public domain. We try to keep it informal. And we see kind of what we're doing is operating in this space between open source, where there's these really smart guys, some of you in the room who can do Linux, and then there's pop culture, which is these really dumb guys that we like a lot. And then we're somewhere here in the middle, trying to bring sort of open source into the public space and the public consciousness a little bit. And, and, and conversely, too, we've turned a lot of graffiti writers into sort of open source advocates as well. I mean, graffiti is a great data set. Um, it's a, a data visualization for crime. Um, so, okay, so our kind of newest project and the project that we're dropping out of this lab that Evan and I are starting soon is called Internet Famous. So it's a class we're teaching at Parsons, and it's the first class where your fame on the internet equals your grade <laughs> in a very analytical way. <laughs> so we have software that's actually sort of a di distributed uh, scrapatron system this guy Jamie Wilkinson made. And uh, uh, every student is hooked into the system, and it goes and it searches the internet for their projects, and it returns a number. It's sort of their bulk index for fame. We call it FAMO. Um, it's called internetfamo.us is the website. Um, so you can actually go to it, and you can see in real time the different students' grades as the heads bob up and down on the graph. Um, so the next thing that we're going to be doing, because we're leaving our sort of cozy home where we met Lamore and, and sort of everyone else at IBM here in, in one month, and we're starting a lab in Brooklyn um, called the Fat Lab, Free Art and Technology. And it's going to be the same sort of thing as what the IBM Open Lab was, public domain, creative technologies, artists, engineers, hackers, all kind of working together. But this is going to have a kind of a Brooklyn feel to it. And um, we're going to continue doing the same work, but hopefully we'll find ways to make it actually um, you know, investable and, and interesting to businesses as well as <laughs> jokers and uh, you know, heroes. Okay, so that's it. Thanks. <laughs>